Welcome to REIT Magazine's weekly report. I'm Matt Bichard. And I'm Alan Kenny. In our first story this week, Citigroup was the top equity underwriter for REITs in 2012, according to data from DealLogic, a company that tracks publicly traded REIT deals. Citigroup was responsible in 2012 for underwriting 45 deals valued at a combined total of $6.52 billion. By more than doubling its underwriting volume in a year's time, Citigroup grew from the sixth largest REIT underwriter in 2011 to the largest in 2012, taking the top spot from Bank of America Merrill Lynch. B of A did 52 deals in 2012, valued at a total of $6.26 billion. Spirit Realty Capital and Cole Credit Property Trust II announced a merger on January 22nd that would create what is expected to be the second largest publicly traded triple net lease REIT in the United States. The Spirit Realty name and management team will be retained for the combined company. Upon completion of the deal, Scottsdale-based Spirit Realty will own or have an interest in more than 2,000 properties in 48 states and an estimated value of approximately $7.1 billion. Spirit Chairman and CEO Thomas Nolan Jr. said the deal would give his company greater flexibility and help create a more diversified portfolio. The first issue of REIT Magazine for 2013 is out now. The January-February edition features a cover story on the evolution of Duke Realty Corporation in the course of the last decade. Duke Realty Chairman and CEO Denny Oaklack takes readers inside the company's efforts to reposition its property portfolio. The magazine also included a one-on-one -on -one interview with Spencer Kirk, Chairman and CEO of Extra Space Storage, who discusses how technology has impacted the self-storage sector. We also talked to a roundtable of investment bankers to get an idea of what to expect on the REIT transaction front in 2013. That concludes this edition of REIT Magazine's Weekly Report. Be sure to stay up to date with all the latest commercial real estate news at REIT.com and realestateinvestmenttoday.com. See you next week.